Hey guys, Kate here, welcome back to the shop. For today's episode of how the trike wheel turns, we're looking at a custom full suspension trike from Germany. We'll start with a gearless CVT hub in the rear and then move to a thousand watt front mounted motor. We'll combine these together on a Scorpion FS26 premium trike. This is a machine you won't want to miss. And now we fade to black and we're back up and we fade. Let's talk a bit about gearing. You're likely familiar with the derailleur based gearing that's found on most bikes and trikes. Typically, there will either be a single sprocket up front or a triple crank set with a derailleur that moves the chain from one chain ring to another. Attached to the rear wheel, a derailleur will move the chain to different sprockets on the cassette. This changes the ratio between the front sprockets, making it easier or harder to pedal. There are more gearing options now than ever before and different ways to combine them to achieve the gear range you want. A wide gear range means that you can climb hills easier and go faster. You can eliminate the derailleurs completely and replace the multi-sprocketed cassette with an internally geared hub, also commonly called an IGH. These hubs have many benefits over a derailleur system, even though they can be heavier and may have lower efficiency. The biggest benefits are that these hubs are completely sealed and can be shifted while stopped, pedaling, or coasting. Generally, they're easier to use and require less maintenance. This build is going with the N380 CVT hub. This hub has an overall gear range of 380%, which is about equivalent to a 10 speed 11 to 36 tooth cassette. What's unique about the N380 is that it has no distinct gears. As the shifter is turned, ball bearings in the hub are positioned to change the ratio. The overall gear range can be moved up or down by changing the size of the single drive sprocket. A smaller sprocket will raise the gearing for higher top speed, while the larger sprocket will lower the gearing for easier climbing. Once you've ridden your trike for a while, you'll have an idea of whether or not you want to make changes. Now, while Lewis was getting the Scorpion all built up, Henry was downstairs getting the rear wheel all laced up with an N380. Hey guys, I'm Henry. I'm going to be lacing this Navinci N380 hub into this HP Velo rim. Let's get started. While Henry took care of the wheel building, Ben was busy soldering up the motor kit so Lewis could get it installed. Now there are various motor systems that can be added to a trike and one of our most popular motor upgrades is the boom mounted Bafang motor. The Bafang motor replaces the front crank set gearing and runs power through the chain to the rear gears much like a car uses a transmission. For this machine we'll be using a thousand watt motor and securing it under the boom with our UT custom torque arm. The crank's attached to the motor directly. There's a freewheel type mechanism integrated into the crank, which allows the motor to spin while your feet can rest on the pedals. There's also a cadence sensor inside the motor that senses how fast you're spinning and adds assist based on the setting chosen on your console. Our color console displays your current speed and tracks mileage. It also shows the battery voltage level and the power draw in watts. The system has nine power assist levels that can be changed by using the plus minus button. The assist level controls how much the motor helps you as you pedal. Obviously lower levels will give you a longer range. Unlike other motor assists like the Shimano E-Steps, the Bafang system has a throttle that can be used at any time to power the trike. So if you don't feel like pedaling, you don't have to. It's great. It's my favorite part of the throttle. Once Henry's all finished lacing the wheel, it's time to get it installed. We got it done. We can hand it over to Lewis. Hey, Ashley. Here you go, Louie. Thanks, Henry. Well, we got the wheel, so we can get this track all buttoned up. 
Made by HP Velotechnik out of Germany, the Scorpion FS26 has been considered the top of the line touring trike since it won the coveted Bent Rider Recumbent of the Year award in 2013. The FS stands for full suspension and that's where you'll really notice the German engineering in this trike. On the back end, the triangulated rear end has a single pivot point and is supported with a coilover shock on the top. The preload can be adjusted easily by twisting the spring nut. Keep in mind that more adjustable air shocks are also available. You'll notice that HP routes the chain from the idler right along the swing arm pivot to ensure that there is no squat. Moving to the front, you'll see what looks like something right off of a race car with a combination of lower A arms and a strut. Like most cars, the A-arms are linked together with a stabilizer bar. This bar is available in a standard and heavy version. Which one is used depends on the rider's weight. Its purpose is to reduce roll during fast cornering. The Scorpion FS does not use shocks in the front and instead uses a combination of both springs and elastomers. This combo gives the Scorpion FS a whopping 60 millimeters of travel with the ability to absorb larger bumps and eliminate regular road vibration. Depending on the rider weight, different springs and elastomers are available. Rider comfort is further improved by isolating the handlebars from the kingpins. This underseat steering mechanism is known as indirect steering. The pivoting handlebar is connected to the kingpins via a separate right and left tie rod. HP Velotechnic calls their arrangement advanced steering geometry or ASG and it provides excellent high speed handling and a tight turning circle for slow speed maneuvering. The handlebars are adjustable and can be moved forward and backward for your comfort. Additionally, the width is also adjustable. Once the guys finished with the build, it was time for a test ride. I'm gonna grab the camera and tag along to get some close-up riding shots. Boo, boop, choo, boo, doo, doo, ba, da. Having fun in the sun on a trike. Doop, doop, doo, boo, boo, boo. Just out riding my trike, having lots of fun. Well guys, let's take a moment and talk about this super sweet trike. You have 60 millimeters of travel in the front suspension. So as you can imagine, it rides super smooth, really comfortable. So now let's take, take a look at the gearing back here. We have a NuVinci N380, seamless shifting on this. You can shift it while stationary without pedaling. If you want a higher or a lower gear range on it, you can switch out the sprocket size in the rear and go bigger for a lower gear range, go smaller for higher speed. With this is 1000 watt buffing, it's quick, really torquey. Pair that with the new Vinci in the back, you can cruise 20 miles an hour easily. HP's indirect steering, super smooth. Well guys, I wish I could be riding this trike all day, but I gotta get it back to the shop and get it cleaned up. So, With the HP Scorpion FS26, you can have a lot of fun in the sun. And in case we didn't mention it, the Scorpion FS26 has a robust hinge that allows the trike to easily fold for transport or storage. The HP Velo Scorpion FS is a proven touring trike the world over, and if luxury comfort is your thing, you'll definitely want to put it on your list. This premium trike does come at a premium cost though, with a starting price currently over $5,000. A fully loaded Scorpion FS26 configuration can reach twice that much. For reference, today's featured build was just over $8,000. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to stay up on all things trike. Now we're gonna roll some more riding shots for you guys. So stick around, watch till the end. We'll see you in the next video.
breathe. I didn't breathe. <clears throat> Why am I out of breath? I'm not breathing. Pastrami burger. Error, battery low. It's fine. They have very good bacon burger, vegetables here. Double meat, double cheese. Didn't like that. Mushroom Swiss. Burger party. Courtesy, it's a burger party. Courtesy of the Wee Blue. I know, I gotta get it right the first time. I'm sorry, you got, hi, hello. Now I'm just, now I'm just distracted. Do you guys need help with anything? Are you waiting yes, on somebody? Uh, this is for you, Terry. Lewis, hey Lewis, Lewis? Is the camera still recording? Yes. It is. Yes, it is.